Welcome to the channel, Cooking with Chef Buka. Please don't forget, subscribe, share, like, tell a friend to tell a friend. Let's get into it. So yeah, we're back at it again, fabricating a salmon. This is how we do it. You know, start from the end of it. Come straight up. Just kind of lift up the sides so it doesn't cut the sides off. A lot of people really do it different way, but we just do it from that side. Some people do it from the back to the front. I do it from, you know, that side, cut it off. I'm saying that piece right there that I cut off and leave on the head, that's gonna be my dinner. But look at the clean cut. You can see that very clean cut, you know, position. Yeah, what I normally do, you know, take this off, it's gonna be my dinner. Make sure you cut off all the bone. All of that little piece of thing right here, I normally always clean off it, you know. Yeah, mm, look good. I'll use that later, clean it up later. So, normally, I you know take off the excess meat that left on the bone because it's gonna be my dinner as well. Yeah, so fabricating salmon is very easy, you know. You just gotta have a sharp knife, long enough knife can go completely through the salmon. So, yeah, right here, I'm just cutting off all the excess meat that leave on it, you know what I'm saying, on the bone. I'm still gonna use the bone to make stock, but I just wanna clean up all the fish because I'm gonna eat it. Okay, to it. I'm gonna say it's simple and it's easy. You know, put off, move it off the top right here too as well. All is nice. But that side is more like, you know, watery up that side. With the belly as well. So I'm just putting that off clean up on both sides. Then I'm gonna get into, you know, kind of show you guys how to pull the bones out and all that. So you know what? Let's do the other side before we get into that. So I don't need to get back into that again. The same way, let's come to straight with the knife, you know? But hold the tail firm so it doesn't slip. You know, we reach here, pop that up. Just not to, you know, cut pieces, meat, all about the bone. And let's come straight through with the knife. Just like that. You know? Watch your finger while you're doing it, because this is dangerous kills. You know, I just push through. Sharp knife comes straight through. I do the same thing right here. Cut off the, the neck, the color, color piece right there, with the bone on it. Yeah, I'll show you guys how to, you know, take the bone on the color piece and all of that stuff. Lift up. Again, clean cut. Still a little piece down here want to come off, so let's get it off. So let's check this out. Yeah, clean cut. Fish is not, you know, tore it up. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people cut it, but they cut it and they don't do it, so they tore it up. So, same thing like what we did before, right here. I'm just gonna cut all these off. You know, to keep the flesh. Just remove the color. I'm just saying, that's gonna be my dinner. Maybe I'm gonna share one of my guys as well, too. Take off that little piece of excess meat. Put a little bit of blood way up in the neck. I think from where we remove the gill. Yeah, that's what it is. Bone, I a lot of I'm gonna pull those bones out later. So let's go through and pull the rest of the meat off. Trying to get off all the meat as much as I can. Knife in the way, but it's okay. You guys understand what I'm doing. So that's a good part of it. Yeah, a little bit more. Yep. So I'm talking about right here. So cut off the meat. All the meat. And after we cut off the meat, then I'm gonna try to get it. No, the head gone, then I'm gonna keep the bone to make stock. You know what I'm saying? You can use fish, yeah, say you got a fish sauce, you know say you can use it to make fish sauce as well. You know, like a fish beer blanc sauce. You know, any one of those things you wanna put it in. Yeah, it's not always easy. You know, we go get into show you guys how to make some sauce from scratch. You know, one of these days. It'll be a little bit longer, take time, you know, but we won't do what we do. So the tail, throw it in the trash, you know, keep all the section bones, just like that. So you know, hold them up. The head, I'm going to throw the head away too, because normally I don't really, you know, keep the head. Because the head has way too much kind of like blood in there, so I kind of throw it away. So some regular stock like, you know, cafeteria food or something like that, we keep it. But now the bone, we're going to keep that because we're going to use it to make the soup. You okay? Nice. Very good for you, you know? Yeah, so, all right, so. This is the most like integral part of it where it's kind of a little bit tedious, but you know, it's time. So the bone is in there. What I do, I rub my finger 
backwards to lift up all the bones out of it. You understand? Know yeah, and then we won't show you to pull it out. Uh, fish bone tweezer, whatever you guys call it. So this normally when I'm cutting this now, I try to cut it and keep the knife against the bone. I don't want to go too deep into the fish itself, though, you know? Fillet part of it, so I cut it and keep it against the bone. My knife is rubbed on the bone while I'm cutting it. You know, and if you see that, it's a nice cut. Yeah, nice, nice, nice cut. So what I try to do now is to cut off excess. Any bone left hand side, I try to cut off and then come down and cut right here down, straight down. You know? That's the fatty part, the belly part right there. That's real nice. You know what I'm saying? It's greasy, but real nice. With like some white rice or you know what I'm saying? Some yam and some dumpling. Yeah, that's how we do it. So now we're gonna go through and pull the bones out. You know, one by one. It's like a bone thing to pull bone out of the fish. I, I can't remember the name of it. I use it almost three times a week and don't remember the, the name of it. But let's call it a bone tweezer for now, you know? Yeah. Just like that. So we'll pull them out one by one. You know, make sure there's no bone in there because you don't want to serve this with bone in there. Somebody has bone in there and it's going to cause a problem for them because you don't want somebody to get, you know, juke in the tongue, you know what I'm saying, or the gums with a bone from a piece of fish that you fillet. And normally, for this fillet, you're not supposed to have any kind of foreign object in there and the bone going to be a foreign object even though the bone is from the fish. Because it's fillet and debone, that's supposed to be in there. So yeah, simple as that, we pull them out one by one. And normally, you know, when you finish this, normally you portion them like a seven ounce portion. But you gotta make sure you pull all the bones out. You see that? And normally, when you pull the bones out, I kind of kind of shake it a little bit, wiggle it a little bit, and then pull it. Just kind of loosen up it from off the flesh. Sometimes you pull the bone and don't loosen it, and it just tear the fish, and it kind of like broken, you know, that nice piece of cut that you would get, you know? Yeah, so I'm right here, I'm feeling for more bones on my hand backwards towards, you know what I'm saying, the tail. Yeah, because the bone lie down towards the head, so you want to roll back the bones to the tail to get them out of it. So that's the bone we pull out of it, yeah. So, we we'll portion it size now. We're looking for like uh, seven, six ounce portion. It all depends. But I've been doing it for a while, so I know what I need to cut. So, yeah, right there. Maybe six and a half, maybe six. So what I do, I normally score it. So when you sear it, it doesn't curl up. You know what I'm saying? It'll sit in the pan nice, that way, you know? That perfect sear and all of the skin, that crispy skin as well. So that's what I do, you know? Maybe after this, we can get from like, uh, maybe 10 piece. Cut up nicely, you know? Let's put them over there in, in the container. Just like that. See that? That's the position. But make sure your knife is sharp as well, because you need a sharp knife do this yeah if the knife is not sharp then you're gonna start ripping to the you know the fillet the skin not gonna be cut you know smooth and neat and you're not gonna get that perfect position cut on it so that's what we do you know day in my life you know normally what i do when i'm executing to the ice level you know what i'm saying take care of my staff my people all the above just like that squirt the reason why we squirt tight twice so it doesn't curl up and excessive little bit of stuff and I'll cut it off. Yeah, score it twice. You know, if I can't get a portion piece out of that and it's too small, I just use it for salmon. Like a side of salmon in a dish, you know? So that's what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, it's a seven so we get eight piece out of it. That's what we're looking for right here. We're gonna get into you know doing the next one as well. You know, just like that. So yeah, all right, get into it. Let's show you guys how to clean this up and take the bones out of it and all that. It's easy because there's bone running through it just like a bone was running through the other one. So I just, same way, pull it out, all of that. And these bone is running through the rib cage as well. It's a bit more difficult to take out. You can cut it out with your knife, but I just use a fish, you know, um, clipper to just pull it out as well. You know, it's a little bit harder to pull out. I just pull it out. Pull them out, you know, from any side. Any side you can clip them from, you can pull them out from. It's real easy. It's not hard to do, you know. You feel for them and pull them out. Sometimes you rip your fish up, but this piece we're not going to be serving. We're going to be eating this piece, so we don't have a problem, like, rip it up a little bit, because we're going to marinate it. Maybe some salt, ginger, you know what I'm saying? You know, um, 
Fugarashi and the Nori and just cook it off on the grill and you know have it for lunch. So normally I always try to take spin. I don't know what they call this piece, I'm sorry, but yeah, this little piece of spin. Just, just get it off. I don't want it on it. You know, then you try to try cut through the bone as well right here. You know, if it doesn't pull out fully, so just cut through it. Try to keep the knife on the bone as we talked about. You know, right on the bone. Feel for the bone while you're doing it. You know, that's how it works. Easier for you in the feel for the bone. I was cut off that little piece right here. I don't like the piece kind of a little bit too oily. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, oil that you, know, you don't want to taste in the food all the time. So I pulled it out. Miss a bone, so I'm pulling another one out. So it's just like that, you know? And easy. There's nothing to it. You know? Yeah, bless it. End of the video. Don't forget, like, share, hit the notification bell. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Peace.